All right. So, <clears throat> like, before we get started, I'm going to um, just go over what we're going to use as far as ingredients and like what kind of um, dishes you'll need for it. Um, so, we're going to use, so first of all, the ingredients for this, if you guys want to write it down, you can. If not, um, I can post it's, a picture later on when I post the end, the end result in the, in the uh, UCP Facebook page. I'll post the ingredients too, uh, or the instructions. Um, so if you guys want to follow along later, I mean, do it later on your own. That's totally fine with me. Um, so we're going to use butter. I got this stick of butter because it calls for a fourth of a cup of butter. And um, when you buy the sticks, it measures it out for you. So on here it says, I don't know if you guys can see, but it says like the tablespoons along the side. And on the top it says, a fourth a cup equals four tablespoons. So it tells you exactly how many um, of the how, how much of this stick of butter you need for the recipe. Um, and then you'll need the Rolos, the mini Rolos. Um, I bought these at Target. I bought all this stuff at Target. Uh, you should be able to find this stuff anywhere, especially right now with Halloween going um, coming up. There should be lots of candy out. Excuse me. Oh my god, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> okay. Um, and then it calls for green M&Ms. I am sure you could have bought like the mint M&Ms or something like that to get all green ones. But I just bought the regular pack and then I'm just gonna pull the green ones out of it. Uh, but I bought the, the bigger pack at Target. And then you'll need the large marshmallows. Again, I just bought an average size pack. This is the 12 ounce, I think. Yeah, 12 ounce pack of marshmallows. The legion of baddies. And then all together, you're gonna need six cups of Rice Krispies. This is all they have, so this is, I just bought this size box. Um, I'm sure like the generic ones would work too. Um, and then you're gonna need a pot. Hopefully this one is big enough. If not, I'm gonna have to get two pots because I can't find my big pot. And then you're gonna need something to mix the ingredients together. And, um, if you didn't get, like, if you have, like, a tub of butter that you're going to use, then you're going to need a measuring cup to measure out the fourth of cup. Um, okay, so let's get started on making these. I'm super, super, oh, and you'll need food coloring, too. Um, it says to get red and yellow, but I actually ended up finding this pack at Target, and it has orange in it. So... If you're going to go later and buy the ingredients, um, if you haven't already bought them, um, I would head to Target and look for this. I only say Target because I don't know if the other stores have something with these kinds of colors in it, but um, I was able to find orange, so I won't have to mix. I still will go through um, for Jessica and Megan, just in case you guys got the red and yellow food coming, I'll go through on how to, um, what it says to make the right type of orange. Um, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, just in. move us over here to my stove, oh, my. and I'm just going to turn it on medium heat. You don't need it too hot. And then we'll need the butter and the marshmallows over here with us because we're going to melt them. Is that as loud as it goes? Yeah. Hello. Yeah. As always, if you guys have questions as I go, feel free to ask. Um, or if you need me to repeat something or whatever, just let me know. Um, so we're going to start off by putting the butter in the pan. Actually, I'm going to turn this down to about probably like a low I have numbers on my stove for reference so I'm putting my stove to like a between a three and a four so between low and medium heat um and I'm just gonna like I said I'm using the stick butter so I'm just gonna measure out four of the tablespoons off the stick for it to equal um a fourth a cup and I'm just gonna put it in the pan Thank you. 
Es sieht gut. So, Robert. What to do? Are you guys following along today? Yep. You. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> And then I'm just going to wait for the butter to melt before I start putting, putting in the marshmallows. On the recipe, the actual recipe, um, it says about 40 marshmallows should do the job. I think it just really depends on how much you're wanting to make. For this recipe, um, it should make about 12 servings, so about 12 little pumpkins. So I'm going to follow it exactly, and I'm going to put 40 marshmallows so that way... I'm sticking to the original recipe. Mm. Usually when I cook, I just kind of <sighs> wing it. But today for you guys, I will do the exact recipe. Jessica, how Megan, are you guys doing good? Yep. Yes, no, maybe so. I am. <laughs> How you guys doing mm -hmm. over there, Megan? Good. We have it muted just because the TV's loud, but we're doing good. Yeah. <laughs> Our, and Zelina, Zelina, how much butter? How much? Butter? Um, it's a fourth a cup of butter. All right, my butter's almost all the way melted, so I'm going to start adding marshmallows. Like I said, I'm going to try to do the exact amount of marshmallows it calls for, just so we could see. Um, for future reference or for anybody that's not making them today, that's going to make them at a later date. Um, we can see if you really need that many. Um, so I'm just going to start counting off and throwing marshmallows in the pot. Hey, Barb. Hey, I was calling you. Hi, I was calling you because I was going to ask you a question. Um, but I guess it doesn't really matter. I don't know. I just wanted to bounce it off. Okay, so I started off with 10 marshmallows in the pot because I'm using a smaller pot. And I'm just going to let them melt down. You might need to turn your heat up a little bit. I'm noticing that my heat isn't kind of taking a little bit longer to melt. I'll say our butter's not even melted yet. <laughs> oh, shoot. <laughs> okay, yeah. So I'm going to turn my heat up. If you're following along right now, feel free to turn your heat up. Um, for this, do it. Everybody's stove is different. Um, so I know my stove sometimes on certain ones, it gets really, really hot. And on other ones, it doesn't get as hot. So whatever works for you. I just want to start, I just wanted to start off at a lower heat um, because I didn't want to like burn anything. Yeah. So I've got mine a little bit before a five right now and it's melting them pretty good. That's just for those of you that have. Some of you guys might have fancy stoves that don't have the numbers and they got the little I don't have that. <laughs> I live in a very old house. All right, so the 10 marshmallows I started off with are starting to melt down pretty good. So I'm going to just go ahead and add 10 more to put us at 20 and see how that looks. She's using big ones there. Amy, there. We don't walk out that, right? On Zoom. Angelina, do you, do you do you use big marshmallows or little marshmallows? Yeah, I use the big ones, just the the regular, not Huge, the super, super. Yeah, not the super big ones, just the um. I want to say they're like the original. Yeah, the medium, medium, regular size. Yeah. It's kind of like which one was better here, huh? Yeah. This is what the recipe called for, so what I went with. 
And most stores should have all of these ingredients by now because um, we're getting closer to, like I said, Halloween and closer to Thanksgiving, closer to my baby being born. <laughs> <laughs> Not that that's relevant to you guys, but. <laughs> Maybe it's due next month already, right? Yeah, on the 16th of November. It's coming quick. That's why I said that, because it, sometimes it hits me out of nowhere, and I'm like, oh, my God. <laughs> sometimes it goes like the wind. Yeah, it sure does. <laughs> All right. So the original 20 that were in there melted pretty good, so I am going to just go ahead and add um, the other 20 that it calls for, because like I said, it says about 40 should do it. So... I'm just gonna go ahead and add the rest, the other 20. Um, I do recommend using a larger pot. I'm using this size pot, but because I couldn't find my large pot. Um, you guys' lives will be a lot easier if you do use the larger pot. Because my stuff is starting to creep out. Sometimes those things can make me go either way. Right. On this. Just make sure you keep mixing too because you don't want them to um, burn to the bottom of the pot and stay open. Aye, aye. For anybody that's doing this at a later date, this is a messy recipe. I'm making a mess over here. What's up, bud? Marshmallows, still melting them down. They're almost all the way melted. Almost got them all the way melted. Yeah, I would say the 40 is pretty spot on. This seems like a decent amount of um, mixture we got going on. So the, um, just the regular 12 ounce bag, like I said, should do. I've still got a couple left in there, but it got me where I needed to be with what the recipe called for. And it's really cheap too. I think they were like $1.50 at Target. All right, guys. I think we're just about right there. So you can say hi. finished. Okay. So I'm gonna turn my stove off. Please don't forget to do that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. So I'm gonna. Mix this a little bit more. Because I don't want it to stick. Um, and I'm going to move us back over here. 
bear with me, guys. Sweet. How are you doing over there, Robert? Robert, are you doing? Here, Rob. Robert. Really, pull your pants up. Hurry up. Get out of here. I'm doing good. How are you? All right. Mom, did I show you? Yep. Okay, so next we're going to um add the food coloring. Excuse me. Add the food coloring? Yes, so you're going to add the food coloring to the mixture before you mix in the Rice Krispies. Sorry, let me move back to the kitchen. Um, yes. I'm going to put mine into a bowl. Okay. I need you to hush, please. Sorry, guys. I have a toddler. Hey, birthday? So, like I said, I'm adding mine to a bowl. And then, um, like I said, I have. I had ended up finding. Um, Sure. Um, I had ended up finding orange food coloring, so I don't need to mix mine to get the right color, but um, in case you guys didn't find actual orange food coloring and you guys got the red and yellow, the recipe says to add the yellow first um, because the red is a really strong color. So it says that approximately 12 drops of the yellow food coloring and then four drops of the red should... Yep. No, do the yellow. job to get you the right orange. Food coloring. So I'm going to add my orange food coloring and let you guys mix yours. Okay, can you please press the bell, please? Thank you. Mom, can I watch TV in here? Sure. So for me, um, since I already have the orange, I'm just going to start off with a couple drops and see what I get. Because I don't want too dark of an orange. So I did three drops first of the of the orange to start off with, and it looks like it's going to be a pretty um, rich color. <laughs> I know the feeling. <laughs> How old is your son? He's uh three. Three. <laughs> but he thinks he's older. Oh, your son. Yeah, of he's course. three. Okay, and so three. Um, I only did three drops of the orange food coloring. For those of you like, if you guys are gonna go buy the ingredients later and you find the the orange, um, and it got me a pretty good, a pretty good orange. So I'm just gonna leave mine with like that. I'm gonna just leave it at the three drops. And then next we're going to, <laughs> and then uh, next we're going to add the Rice Krispies to our marshmallow mixture. So it says six cups. Get mine open. Ooh. Okay. So six cups. Oh, I almost poured the whole bag in just now. One. Shoot, I can't right now, Brantley. Please go have a seat. Three. Okay, so I'm going to start off with three, and then I'm just going to mix it, and then um, add the other three, so that way it's easier to mix. The marshmallows have gotten pretty sticky by now. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's sticky and... 
Sticky. Yeah, it's a very messy, very sticky um, recipe. Just <laughs> as a warning, you're gonna get in trouble a little time. Go have a seat, please. Ours is orange. Did that? What, did you guys mix the yellow and the red, Jessica? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We did. Did those you can't see it, but it's orange. Okay. Did that amount work pretty good? That amount that I gave you guys? Yeah, it's a light orange, but it works. Okay. Yeah, you can always um. We had to hurry. We had to hurry because the marshmallow was getting really thick. So. I know mine. Mine's doing that right now. I might have to throw mine in the microwave. <laughs> I had to put it back on the burner with the marshmallows. <laughs> yeah, so note to everybody who's going to do this later, make, make sure you do it quickly. Have your supplies handy. <laughs> yes. I'll stop there, right? I've never done this um, before, so I'm learning this with you guys. I just yeah. really love. I love the holidays, so I love to do themed it's desserts. The holiday. It's it probably because it's probably because it was in honor of that there. Yep. All right. Now we got a big old mess going on. You're going to. Okay. So next, what we're going to do is. Um, it says, okay, so this is where it gets really messy. Oh my goodness. He left my fridge open. <laughs> um, this is where it gets really, really messy. So it says to add a cup of like cooking oil or something like that, some kind of oil, add like a quarter, uh, I mean a fourth of a cup, um, into a bowl, like a small bowl and Put your hand, coat your hands with the oil, so that way when you're making the pumpkin balls, um, they don't stick to your hands because they are super, super sticky. So you can either do that with the oil, um, or you can take a shortcut like I'm gonna do, and I'm just gonna spray my hands with the cooking spray okay. and hope that it works because I don't want to like stick my hands in the oil. Um, and you're just going to start forming the pumpkin balls. Um, I am using parchment or wax paper from, I got it from the dollar store. Um, you can use foil, you can just spray whatever like dish you're going to put them on. You can just spray it with the cooking spray just so that way they're not sticky. Um, because again, that's really, really sticky. But I chose to use wax paper. And we're just going to, um, Okay. So now it's the messy part. So I'm going to, like I said, you can get the cooking oil and put it in a bowl next to you and just kind of have it handy and then um, stick your hands in it. Um, use something. Brantley, okay, cool, please. Um, you can use something to put it on your hands. Sorry, I couldn't think of the word. Um, or you can try the cooking spray like I'm going to do. And so you just, you just want to do something so that way it doesn't, um, cause this is like really, really, really sticky. And you're just going to take it and you can make them whatever size you want. Um, I'm going to try to keep them pretty, look, and it's still sticking. And you're just going to roll them. I'm making mine about this size. And I'm just going to set it down and let them set a little bit before I do the other stuff to it. Because we're going to add the rollos and everything. But um, I'm going to make these first. Okay. See, she's having a baby. Nice. Instead of oil, and it doesn't stick at all. 
water also works instead of oil. Just let you That's guys know, smart. my mom said. <laughs> Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. Like Welcome. I said, you guys, I'm just experimenting with this as you guys are too. Um, so I will take suggestions. And that was a really good one. So water works as well. And I'm just rolling them like this in my hands. Um, so they're not turning out to be like perfectly rounded balls, but they're good enough for me. Thank you. As much as I like to think so, I am not Martha Stewart. More of a Walmart version of Martha Stewart. <laughs> so they don't have to be perfect. Okay. And like I said, this is the messy part of the recipe. And if you don't want to sit here and make a bunch of them, you can make them larger if you want. You can make them smaller if you want to make more out of them. So far, I'm only at five. And I still have a decent amount left. But the recipe should make about 12 of the medium-sized ones. Oh my goodness. Even though it's messy, this is a fun recipe to make. I really recommend everybody that isn't going along with it right now. I recommend you guys try this. Frank, you want to get your hands dirty? I used to try I used to try those kind of things like when I was at junior high. Oh yeah? Yeah, like when I was in the seventh or eighth grade. For like yeah, class? Home, yeah, in home ec, yes. Oh, okay. Made them many times since. I never took home ec. <laughs> or, 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 or it's probably haven't done the wild probably since many years ago. We see you over there, Robert. Good job. Huh? Yeah, Robert's like, killing it. It's like when we first took over, right? Robert needs to go on, on the Food Network. How do you like that, huh? <laughs> Okay, wipe your hands. My mother and I should go on the food network because my mom's helping me connect with this. Oh, I love that you're giving her credit. Yes. I, I think I feel like she would appreciate that. That's awesome of you. I'll pick it up and you're gonna make it to They must know how to cook. <laughs> pick it up. Huh? All right. Pick it up. Still making them. Rolling them. Roll it both hands. Part right. Megan, too, she's making some over there. Megan. All right, Megan. Oh, Megan, check you out. <laughs> Next time, I'm just going to let you do the class, Megan. <laughs> You're doing a better job than me. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay, don't touch them. Hey. I'm going to watch it. Hey. Hey, Pete, get down. Get down. You hold on. You're going to be on the camera. Get down. Get down, please. You're going to have a ball, Megan? Get down. What? Get down. Go. You're my best friend. You're my best friend, too. Mom, why do you have two of those? It's sticky, huh, Megan? Yeah. <laughs> sticky in my hand. Okay. So I'm down to my last one. Oh, I'm making a mess, guys. I'm making a mess. Okay. So, Drew, are you making these? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I love all the participation, you guys. That makes me so happy. Okay, 
Let's try. Thank you. SpongeBob doesn't need to be up here. Thank you. SpongeBob doesn't need to be up here. Okay, so I'm going to rinse off my hands real quick and then we'll do the last couple steps and we'll finish them up. Okay, Grant, please stop. Stop, Drew. Grant, please yes. stop. Ah. Well, my hands are still a little bit messy, but they're better than before. So we're just going to do our last steps so we can finish them up and we can taste these bad boys. I got a mess going on over here, guys. I don't know about you guys. We're messy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So really messy, really sticky. We're going to start off with our Rolos because these are going to be the stems. You guys know how pumpkins have the brown stems? Like on the top. So we're going to use these and okay, nice. use our imagination, and these are going to be the stems. I think nice. All right, so all you're gonna do is, and you wanna yeah. try to, this, this recipe is something you have to do quickly, like um, Jessica had mentioned, because um, you wanna make sure that the Rice Krispie balls are still a little bit warm, um, so that we can push these into the pumpkin. That thing so we're gonna just push it into the top of the pumpkin. You missed it, that thing was just getting caught up there. Uh, and you could just, real gently, and then kind of, the the pumpkins should still be um, warm or still be um, soft enough for you to to mold. So you kind of just mold it around it, and there you go. There's that. And then, what did you and then you're gonna get your M and M's. What is it doing? Like I said, I'm sure you could find um, like a bag of all green M&Ms, but it would probably have to be like the mint ones or something, which I didn't. I don't care for those, so I just grabbed um, the regular bag. There should be more than enough green ones in here. So you're just going to dig out a green M&M and place it next Don't to this? not yet oh sure go ahead um <laughs> place it next to the rollo or our fake stem i should say like that that looks good like it's a leaf and you have your little mini pumpkin it's a little mini pumpkin it's so cute so the it's real easy. It's just messy. Um, I would recommend, just from personal experience now, I would recommend adding um, more uh, red if you're going to mix the red and yellow together, more red. Or if you find the just the orange one like I had, adding more orange. Um, just so that way they're a little bit more of an orange color. Yeah, but, I mean, really it's just whatever. Oh, so. Really it's just whatever your preference is. Um, so you're just going to do that to all of them. Thank you. And make them all look like little pumpkins. Awesome. All right. That pretty much sums it all up. Cute little rice crispy pumpkins. So they're cute and they're they're tasty. I Absolutely indeed. Um, does anybody have any questions about anything I did? Are you guys done over there, Megan? Yeah. Here's her pumpkin. I have a question. Let's see, let's see Megan's pumpkin. You guys were smart. Oh my goodness. Jessica and Megan are going to kick me out of my baking job. This should have been like they that. used Hershey's. <laughs> Megan and Jessica look, used Hershey's, and it looks super stinking cute. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Awesome. you guys how, about just... Robert, how about you guys? I have a question. 
You guys done yet? Have you guys made one? I have a question. Oh, I love it. Nice. What's up, Joshua? You have a question? Uh, yeah. What's the temperature on the? What was the what, what temperature do you want to do on the butter anyway? Okay. I believe we we ended up doing like a medium heat. Medium heat. Okay. Thanks. For the butter, yeah, a medium heat on your stove should work. Anything more, and it was kind of starting to burn the the butter and the marshmallows. What about you, Drew? Did you guys finish one? Kids want is there more? You can eat your pumpkin if you want. Ooh. <gasps> Mr. Moore. <laughs> it's lovely. It's uh, lovely, Andrew. Good job, guys. I love it. Drop it. Uh, all right. Well, does anyone else have any questions? Angelina, remember when I used to look at the Halloween aisle at some stores here? My favorite kind of decoration is the one that had the, 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 the hand inside the bowl there. It said this. Would you like some candy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, That's that my, tricky the, one? Yeah, the one. It reminds, it reminds me about the, the thing for the Adam's family there. Yeah. Is it tasty, Megan? Yeah. Are you eating that already? Yeah. <laughs> Does everybody's taste as good as they look? Yum. Um, if you guys made them with me, or even if you guys make them later, uh, make sure you guys post pictures. I love to see you guys' pictures of when you guys try out these recipes. Um, I'll post my picture too on this on the um the Facebook page. I'm, I'm Franklin. Awesome. Well, thank you. Enjoy. Thanks for sharing your recipe today and sharing with everyone. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you. It looks delicious, though, isn't it? It looks delicious. I'm going to eat one in a minute. <laughs>